how to find a job, how to approach the employer, how to make your profile, how to tailor your CV. मेरे पास कोई जादू की छड़ी नहीं है कि मैं आपको जॉब दिलवा सकूं लेकिन Welcome back to my channel, Civil Engineer. I hope you guys are keeping well. Uh, for those who are new to my channel and they are, they're watching for the first time, my name is uh, Jay Skatek. Uh, I'm a civil engineering design consultant working in the UK for the past 15 years. I provide guidance, assistance and career advice and a counseling to the uh, civil engineers as well as to the students. If you need help with any anything about civil engineering, प्लीज यूज द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो एंड आई बी हैप्पी टू आंसर योर क्वेरीज देर अच्छा दोस्तों बहुत से क्वेश्चन आ रहे हैं अबाउट द न्यू पॉइंट बेस सिस्टम इमिग्रेशन हाउ टू इमिग्रेट एंड वन ऑफ द मेन क्वेश्चन बीन आस टाइम एंड टाइम अगेन इज अबाउट हाउ टू गेट अ जॉब फ्रॉम द स्पॉन्सर्ड एम्प्लॉय इन द यू के सो ऑब्वियसली मेरे पास कोई जादू की छड़ी नहीं है कि मैं आपको जॉब दिलवा सकूँ लेकिन सर्टली आम हेयर आई एम शेयरिंग माई पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस माई नॉलेज बींग हेयर फॉर द पास फिफ्टीन ईयर्स and uh, that will help you basically to tackle that side of the immigration system so in this video i'm sharing my personal experience how to find a job how to approach the employer how to make your profile how to tailor your cv uh, all these i'm covering in this video so make sure you watch the whole video and uh, certainly that will help Actually, you before i proceed into the details uh, i wanted to share the rules that are required for the tier 2 uh, visa the new point based system so i'll share the website where you can get all the information also i said one of the main points is about the job offer from the sponsor employer in the uk so i'll share the, the those uh, information with you where you can find all those information i'll go to mr google and uh, type in gov.uk and that will take me to the gov.uk the government website in the search box uh, i will type in tier 2 visa and that will give me some options here so i can scroll down and general work visa tier 2 click on that and this is actually the content you can click on each content there that will take you to the whole process what you need for the tier 2 visa uh, but in particular what i'm interested in in for this video is uh, about the job requirement i mean for the tier 2 visa that's what i'm covering here which is uh, you have been offered a skill job in the uk that is the a uh, primarily requirement for the for the visa uh, that's that's what i'm covering here but this is just for your information where you can get all those details i mean to get the process going so you don't need to ask anyone this is this is the uh, this is the way how you can get the information uh, i'm sure yeah um if if you go through that is straightforward easy to read easy to follow uh, but uh, as always if you still got any questions uh, please feel free to ask the question in the comment and uh, I'll, i'll try to help you where i can acha dosto yahan pe main aapke sath apna personal account jo linkedin account hai wo main share kar raha hu and also my personal cv how i tell uh, to the requirements of the employers uh, so wohi main aapke sath share kar raha hu certainly uh, I, i won't say that is one of the best but it, i do receive offers from time and time again basically on the same profile on the same cv so i will share those with you so but before go into the details uh, main aapke sath share kar, kar raha hu ke aapko confidence mile ke ye ye sahi baat hai ke mujhe offers aa rahi hai to main aapke sath wo wo bhi secret main aapke sath share kar raha hu apna linkedin jo messages mujhe aate hain about the job offers i can share those couple of yeah exactly samples there just to give you a boost basically it does happen and if you follow the rules what what I'm talking about here certainly that at some point that will help you so I'll tap on the linkedin uh, app and that will take me to the front page and to the right top corner that's where the messages are if i tap on that and these are all the messages uh, it's not all about the jobs but obviously certainly they 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 quite quite a number of messages from the recruitments uh that's one of the uh actually i'm talking about the offers what well, is not offer is just the initial messages about the job offers so you here you can see a civil design cre contract role 
uh, a few days ago I got this message uh, from uh, Tom and uh, that's that's where it all starts actually so you get a message from there and then uh, you start talking to them about the job and the offers what they can offer what you can offer and then you do the deal basically and that's exactly how it happens another example i would just uh, go scroll down um, a few weeks ago a couple of weeks ago where i got another message similarly it all starts from from the simple message yeah uh like i mean if they look at your linkedin profile they will just contact you straight away there uh obviously if you're meeting their requirements for the job and uh, that that's that's exactly how it happens i'll froze the uh the screen here so you can read yourself the message there uh, this is just to show you basically if, if you have the competency, if uh, you have the knowledge, uh, just to give you an idea how much you can earn as a civil engineer in the UK. Uh, so you can read here, yeah, they, they were offering me £500 per day for, for this offer, for this job. Uh, but th this is just to give you a scale, I mean, uh, how much you can earn as, as a civil engineer in the UK. And certainly that will give you a bit of a boost, yeah, being a civil engineer. So here guys, uh, I'm back on my LinkedIn profile, which is the main content of this video I wanted to share with you guys. So this is my LinkedIn profile. Uh, you can tell each individual section on the LinkedIn. Each section has this uh, little pencil there on the uh, right top corner. Uh, when I tape on that, that will take me to the editing mode. So I can edit each individual individual section there. So if I tap on the first one, uh, that which is uh, my bio data, basically my name and uh, all my qualification there, you can tell uh, accordingly. You can add your address if you need to be, but uh, it's it's, uh, it's up to yourself how you tell uh, that section. Uh, obviously, your name uh, qualification is is a must there. Uh, the second section, which is the most important section on your profile, is about the, the work. Uh, obviously, you can tell that section accordingly whether you want to show them only to your recruiter or to the whole, everyone, your companies as well. So when you, I tap on that, it takes me to the uh, to that section and you can tell uh, about the job titles, what you are looking for. So as you can see on my design manager, senior project engineer. So these are the, the titles I'm looking for, basically. And uh, you can also tell uh, that section by location where, where exactly you are looking for for the job and you can type them in accordingly another section is here when you want to start i mean are you immediately available or are you flexible uh, in my case i put it as flexible but despite the fact that i put it flexible i do receive uh, messages from time to time but obviously if, if you're looking for job desperate then uh, you, you you need to click on immediately and uh, that will tell the recruiter that you are on the cards for for the job the next section down is uh, about if i click on that that should be the summary of your whole career you need to make sure you tell this section as as, as your punch line because this is the first section the recruiter is going to see so you need to bring the best of yourself uh, in the first impression as first impression is always the last so you need to make sure that this uh, this shows your highlights of your career the next section down is uh, featured normally the people ignore this one but uh what i did actually i included my a whole cv there actually and you need to spend a bit of a time on this section so if i click on that this is my cv and uh, the first page of my cv that includes profile key experience qualification and profession and my personal details there so this is the first page you need to make sure you tell this section as if uh, this is the summary of your whole life uh, and in the key experience, you need to ensure you bring the keywords there because nowadays it's all automatic, yeah, computerized uh, sort of your yeah, recruitment processes. The recruitment agencies, they receive hundreds of CV on a daily basis. So they, they normally do a control F and finding the relevant key 
subject there. For instance, I mean, you can see here I've tailored project management, civil structure, technical assurance, temporary works. All these are key words. I mean, what, what I, I know from, from my profession, the recruitment is looking for. And uh, when they type in that search and if it, it appears in their search, they choose the CV based on these key words. So you need to make sure all the key words are there uh, right the next page uh, is is about my uh, experience basically with each individual company so i've tailored as if yeah what exactly my responsibilities are so i highlighted each individual step there uh, you can tell your cv if you feel this is uh, this is a good uh, sort of example but it's not necessarily it shouldn't be uh, a standard uh, as long i mean you cover the uh, your responsibilities, the accomplishment I've added there, what I've achieved during the process. I mean, working for these different companies at different time and different uh, sort of yeah, projects. Uh, so I highlighted throughout yeah, my CV the same pattern. So responsibilities and accomplishment and some details about the projects itself, what the project involved. Uh, it's about four pages CV. Uh, you need to make sure you don't go beyond four pages. If you've got a lots of experience, uh, you need to just get the, the best out of your, your, your whole career. Uh, I would say this is the max, should be four pages should be the maximum. So I'll scroll down on my profile further down so that the, your dashboard, uh, how many yeah, views you have on your profile. Uh, your activities, what you're doing on the on the LinkedIn, what you like, what content, and the main thing here is about the experience. Again, this is just the same as uh, on my CV. Uh, it's it's just some, mostly is a copy and paste, but uh, you need to make sure you you fill all the section because this uh, give a bit more flexibility to the recruiter when they see just just the highlights so they rather than going to the cv they can see here as well so it's it's a copy paste uh, once once you tell your cv you just copy the content from there and paste it in each individual sections here uh, that that is good enough uh, for this section the next section down is uh, education. So I've uploaded, in fact, I've uploaded all my degrees there as well. Uh, but you can see, yeah, University of Salford, where I did my MSc in Structure Engineering, University of Birmingham, oh, that's, that's my uh, degree for the Structure Engineer from the University of Salford. Uh, it's not necessary, but uh, it's good to have this just to give confidence to the to the recruitment agencies. Yeah, they can see your certificates there, the credibility there. Uh, so all, all my degrees, all my uh, certificates, they are there. Uh, it's just to give you an edge over your peers. I mean, that's all it is basically, uh, because no one else would have that that on their profile. If you have it, you got a positive uh, impression on the recruitment. So if I scroll down further down, there's some license certification, which I did the online courses on the LinkedIn and that all captured here. It's always a good impression with the recruiter that, yeah, what else uh, I can do and I can offer. And further down is some skills and endorsement. The more you use uh, the LinkedIn, the more you're going to get those endorsement there. And then further down, you got some accomplishments there, some honors, awards, uh, which I will edit there. And finally, the contact, which is really important. You need to ensure you have the right phone number there, the right email address. That's the only way the, the recruitment is contacting you there. Right, guys, now I want to talk about yeah how to find a job on the LinkedIn and how to apply for it. Uh, so on the uh, bottom right corner you can see the jobs there uh, the the LinkedIn the, the best thing about LinkedIn is that would recommend the jobs for yourself obviously you all already tell it your your profile so that will recommend yeah the the best match for your profile here so you can uh, always that there's always update on these uh, jobs so you can look at yourself and if, if they match your profile you can apply straight there yeah, go on to the job and then you can look at the description there the requirements what were they what they required for the job and if you reckon that's the one you're looking for so straight away you can uh, just uh, go and apply straight away from your profile there that's that's the best thing about the linkedin
The next thing I want to talk about is uh, if you're looking for a specific type of job, for example, here, uh, civil engineer. So in the top search, search box, I'll type in and then uh, the, 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 the one below, I'll type in the location uh, in the United Kingdom. So it would give me all the jobs available within United Kingdom as a civil engineer. You can tailor your search based on the top menu there, but you can literally see that for the entry level, we got 2,372 jobs. That's the amount of jobs I'm talking about. Yeah, that there's a huge demand for civil engineers. That's for the entry level civil engineers, the graduates, basically the, how many jobs there are available for civil engineers. So you can uh, go and search for your relevant job and straight away from your profile, you can apply to the job. And that's easy as you wish for. So here is the boring stuff. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you like the content, please press the like button. Thank you. Guys, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. I hope this was useful. Uh, if you still have any question, don't forget to use the comment section below and I'll be happy to provide your answer there. Thanks for watching.